All right, welcome to the Art Cloud episode three. Uh, in today's episode, I'm talking about keeping character design simple. I've recently been designing a new character. His name is Saber. He's a mercenary, and so yeah, I'm just gonna finish up this character design, color him, and just talk about my process for actually doing all of that. And uh, so let's get right into it. All right, so for this character, I wanted to give him some type of hairstyle with dreadlocks and so that's what I'm doing on this page here I'm sketching out different ideas I can use for this character's hairstyle I'm just doing some exploration and trying to figure out some cool ways to draw dreadlocks so for the character toward the end I really wanted to experiment and try out drawing the barrel twist and that style of dreadlocks for this character Saber um, this isn't the character Saber, but I was just practicing drawing the hairstyle so that I could be familiar with how to simplify the form and get the look I wanted. So at this point, I gathered all my initial designs for my character Saber, and I'm using Pure Reference as well to use for reference images and the weapon that he, that he holds and uses. But yeah, I gathered my reference that I'm using for Saber, and at this point, I'm just drawing different poses for the character. I really want to get his personality down and figure out what kind of character this guy is. He's very intimidating. I know that he's a mercenary, so he needs to have some type of weapon and he needs to look tough. He needs to look like somebody you don't want to mess with. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm experimenting with diff different poses and I'm trying to figure out how to draw them and so after i got a few different poses that i like i start going in and designing the actual face for the character and then i implement the dreadlocks the barrel twists that i drew earlier onto this character i've never seen a character drawn with barrel twists and i wanted to attempt it for myself and so it's definitely a hard hairstyle to draw and for me i just went and simplified it but you can definitely go into detail and draw them with more form. When I was designing sabers, barrel twists, I didn't really want them to be too complicated, just wanted to keep them simple, and so that's what I did here. All right, so after I colored and did the line work for the portrait of this character, I really wanted to go in and start designing his actual outfit. Uh, this is definitely the most challenging part for me because this character design is probably my weakest area. I want to get better at doing that. And so I'm using the reference that I gathered in pure reference to help me design him with a some type of big sword some type of like a long sword type of thing. I wanted his design to be inspired by African culture, but also look like it belonged in a fantasy setting. So that's what I am attempting to do. And I also wanted him to have some type of leather armor on him. I really want to get good at drawing armor. So yeah, I was drawing this design. I'm, I'm happy with how it came out. I feel like it's pretty simple and you don't need it to be, need it to be complicated. And I wasn't going for anything complex. Just something simple, make this character look intimidating and dangerous. And so that's what I think I got with this design. So this is a new character design I'm working on and this design is finished. What I want to do now is establish like the color for his costume and basically his color palette, uh, do the line work for the character. And also I'm going to finish this drawing later. But for now, I'm going to focus on this pose here in the middle and do the line art for him. And I'm going to color him. So one thing I like about the 
art of street fighter this art book that i have is that there's many different artists in the book and it's 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 cool because i get to look at behind the scenes of every design and what they were thinking about and just the different ways that the characters are designed for each game but while i was designing this character i had the book opened on a page and i was referencing the Street Fighter designs to help me figure out how to design my own characters. And the one thing I really noticed is how simple, just how they keep the design simple for each character. There's nothing too complicated. There's no unnecessary detail. So that's what I want to do in this design for my character Saber. I wanna use the designs from Street Fighter as my inspiration my own characters in this fantasy world so yeah he's a mercenary he has a big sword and some leather armor Now it's time to color. So the lines are pretty easy to do. It took me about 30 minutes to finish them. But first thing I'm gonna do is create a layer right below that line art layer and go back to the line art layer, select my magic wand, select everything outside of the line art and make sure that spaces like this I select so that I can create an easy color mask and I'm just gonna use the colors I have for the face over here to use as my color mask so for that though we just have to invert the selection so control shift I to invert the selection I'm gonna grab my pen and just color all of this in like that. Nice, nice and easy. But real quick, I'm going to pull up a picture of the reference I'm using to color the character. Uh, I'm using a page from the art book that I have next to me to use as a reference. So I'm gonna put that on screen so that you can see it and that way I can use it as reference for my own coloring process. So what's cool about the internet is that I just found the, the book page that I'm looking at online in like five seconds. So yeah, this is the page that I'm looking at for reference. And I wanna try and implement this shading style, this coloring style to my own work. I'm going to keep that on the side here. I've never actually played any Street Fighter games. I've played a little bit of five, but growing up, I never really played Street Fighter, but I've always seen the characters. And I always thought they were really cool. They look, looked awesome. And so, yeah, they just have cool character designs, very diverse. And so I want to try and color like this for my character. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just get all the flat colors down, decide some type of color palette for him. I already have the skin color and might wanna go red. So let's try and pick a few colors. So really quick, before I pick the colors for the, my own character, I actually wanna study the color choices of all of these characters here. So I wanna just grab the colors that they use 
a skin color, outfit color, and like a hair color and an accent color. So let's see, like that gold, that gold color. So what, five car five uh, colors? So same thing, we got the skin color, the outfit, maybe like an accent, an accent color, his hair, and the belt is like a black, and that's it. So I'm gonna do that for all of these characters and like break down the color palettes because it can be hard sometimes to figure out your own color palettes for your own characters. So I'm gonna just keep going and see how many colors each character design really has. So we have the skin color for this guy, hair color, like an orange. Uh, he's got like this, these wraps, so like they're like a white color. And then pants, the yellow for like the ac accent color and a red for the other accent color. And that's pretty much it. So how many colors is that? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Chun-Li. One, two, three, four, five for Ken. One, two, three, four, five. There's not that many colors. Uh, like, the, like I said at the beginning of this video, I want to learn how to keep my character designs simple, keep them simplified, but at the same time, iconic and make sure that they stand out against the other characters that I draw for this world. So let's just continue. For this character, we got the skin color. Let's see, we got the skin color. Shirt. It's like a white color. We see it, <laughs> but yeah, white, blue skirt, same blue for the collar, a yellow accent, and the red shoes, and the hair. How many colors is that? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So most of these designs have either five, five to six colors. I keep them really simple. And that's one thing I got to get better at. And that's why I want to do these studies because breaking these characters down makes it a lot easier to draw your own characters and figure out how you want to portray them, especially with the colors. The white headband. And the hair. How many colors is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's it's crazy how simple these are when you break them down. So after that, I just continued to study the color palettes for each character. And overall, none of the characters went over like 10 colors. Like I said, they're all very simple as far as as far as the colors go. And so that's what I want to do with my own character. I want to only use five to like seven colors and I don't want to go over 10. Uh, so I'm using the Street Fighter characters as my reference to draw and color my own character and my own color palette. I eventually settle on a red and green color palette uh, with the scarf being more of like a magenta kind of a color. And I really wanted to emphasize the green for his clothing because this takes place in a, or he lives in a fantasy world. So overall, I'm happy with how this came out. And I just continue to render and continue to make this the best that it can be. Let me know what you think about this character design. I really enjoyed breaking down the characters from Street Fighter, because that really just showed me how simple your color palette needs to be for your characters. They don't need to be super complicated. And so that's what I want to implement more into my work. All right. So the colors are done for this character. I did end up changing his color palette a little bit uh, with the lighters, but this is what I got so far. 
I like it and I like how it turned out. And this is just like an exercise to help me understand to keep my color palette simple when I design characters. So hopefully you can do the same with your characters and I hope this video helped you out and I will see you in the next one. Peace.